Hi, we're going to talk about some stock rolls today. Uh, John Deere offers three options of stock rolls from the factory. We got our opposed stock rolls here, we got our intermeshing stock rolls, and we got our Romax chopping rolls. Uh, our opposed rolls are going to be our base stock roll. Uh, they do the least amount of processing, but they also take the least amount of horsepower. Next would be our intermeshing rolls. Uh, they do an intermediate amount of processing, and then it, they take an intermediate amount of horsepower. Then this Romax chop, chopping rolls, they're doing the most chopping, but they also take the most horsepower. Over here, we can see a chart how we're processing that residue. So this would be our base uh, opposed stock roll right here. Uh, I like to think of it as it going through a paper shredder, kind of flattens it out, it looks like it's got some strings to it, but it doesn't break it down to too many smaller pieces. Next, we got our intermeshing stock roll. That intermeshing stock roll uh, gives it like a moco style crimp to it, kind of puts that accordion type crimp in it, but it also cuts it up into slightly smaller pieces than that uh, opposed stock roll does. Next is our Romax chopping roll. Our Romax chopping roll chops up the stuff the finest and processes that stock the most. But our premium option would be our pose with our stock master. So that's really going to get us our finest uh, stock processing is with when you go to a straight uh, stock master corn head. Here you can see the pictures of how uh, the rolls come to a point where a opposed stock roll, uh, the two knives are opposite opposed of each other. Uh, intermeshing stock roll, uh, the knives come in, in between each other and do that uh, Z or zigzag pattern. And then our Romax chopping roll, we have twice as many blades as our opposed roll and they uh, uh, go in between each knife blade as well. So with the benefits of the different uh, processing we do. This uh, Romax chopping roll is going to really make that look like kind of a confetti material and it's going to break down a lot faster than just a straight opposed stock roll will. Uh, Romax or a Romax or an opposed stock rolls on a Stockmaster corn head will be our premium option for breaking that residue down. Uh, Stockmaster will leave a mat uh, at times and it can blow at times where it blows into the neighbor's field or into the ditch. Uh, but Romax uh, will be our premium option probably uh, as opposed to a Stockmaster because we're taking a lot less horsepower to do roughly the same job there. Uh, one drawback from each stock roll is how the we process that stock roll. At times we can take in more trash. So if we have poor stock quality and a post stock roll is going to take in the least amount of trash because it's not breaking that stock roll off and the top of it falling off into the corn head. Whereas a row max will take in roughly 16% more uh, trash than a, a post stock roll just because it's really processing that stock. And I mean, if it's really brittle stock conditions, they can break off and then come into the combine and your combine will have to process that extra material. So I guess, how do you choose between a stock roll? It's based on how well you want your stocks to be chopped up and what kind of tillage you're gonna do. Uh, just, it all depends on your farm and uh, how much residue you want left in the field or how much you want that stock processed. If you're just doing a VT or pass, you, maybe you want to run a Romax chopping roll. If you're gonna do a deep tillage pass with a, a disc gripper or something like that, maybe you don't need to process as much uh, as well. It also depends on your soil type and how well uh, the stocks will break down before next fall. If you're going to replace stock rolls, uh, maybe you have a post now and you want to go to a Romax or intermeshing, the grass knives that bolt up here, those are different between each stock roll. So if you're wanting to swap, you also need to buy additional grass knives as well. And uh, it's a good opportunity when your grass knives or, or when your stock rolls are getting worn out and getting replaced, it's probably best to replace your grass knife because you don't want that dull blade to be there. And so you want a good shear action. If any material does get wrapped around your stock roll, it's a good opportunity to just go ahead and replace those grass knives uh, when you're replacing your stock rolls. Stop by your local Sloan's location to learn more about different stock roll options offered by John Deere.